I want to focus in on uh, black migrants from Africa and the Caribbean nations. Nana Joffrey, who has met with President Biden on this issue and other civil rights leaders, said that the lifting of Title 42 suppresses black asylum seekers who are required to ask for asylum in countries they transit through. Many of those countries are too dangerous for black migrants to request asylum. And she gives the example of the African-Americans who traveled to Mexico. Some were killed. Um, they were thought to be Haitian migrants. What do you say to that? And what is, an, is there an effort? And what will you do to safety net or safeguard some of these black migrants who are trying to come now for asylum who are in countries or transiting through countries where they cannot ask for asylum through under the laws that the Biden administration has put? So, so let, me, let me share with you how, one way in which migration has changed dramatically um, over the years. It is no longer the case that individuals can, on their own, reach the southern border of the United States. They have to place their lives and their life savings in the hands of ruthless smugglers that exploit them and ruthlessly do so. And we have not only a security obligation, but a humanitarian obligation to cut those smugglers out. And that is indeed what we are doing. And this president, President Biden, has rebuilt our refugee processing capabilities and has committed to a large number of refugee admissions to the United States. Our president, President Biden, has expanded lawful pathways for migrants like no other president past. And what we are doing is we are extending an out, outstretched arm of humanitarian relief to reach people where they are so they do not have to place their lives in the hands of those smuggling organizations. Right, the border, but the, the southern border is not just Mexicans, it is Haitians, it's Africans, as, we, as we've seen, particularly with that issue with the Haitians um, being whipped with the reins or the horses. But what is there? Well, let me just uh, correct you right there because actually, actually the investigation concluded that the whipping did not occur. I'm sorry, I saw it differently. They were whipped with something from the horse, reins from a horse. I, I Maybe the, the video or the picture was fixed, but what I saw was totally different. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna leave you as uh, 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 corrected. Again, the Mexican border is not just Mexicans, it's Africans and Haitians. What is there in place? as you hear from people who are advocates for immigrants like Nana Jumphrey to help those who are trying to seek asylum in place from places like Haiti that has gangs. They can't even have an election because things that the atrocities there are just so great. So um, a, a few um, uh, a few responses. Number one, we have set up the CBP one app to enable people to make appointments and arrive at ports of entry safely if they qualify for exceptions under the public health authority of Title 42, which of course is set to expire at 11.59 p.m. We have admitted approximately 740 people through that CBP-1 app per day. The majority of the individuals admitted have been uh, Haitian. Uh, we. Um, are expanding that CBP-1 app to reach as many as a thousand people a day. Um, and we are setting up regional processing centers throughout the region, working very closely with countries to the south, working with Colombia and others. And we expect to uh, set up uh, as many as a hundred or more of those processing centers that will be open to people of all nationalities to obtain humanitarian relief.